This is the Value Investor Podcast with Tracy Reinick. All things value, all the time. Welcome back, value investors. Stocks have pulled back off their recent all-time highs, as you all know. But it's really been the small caps that have taken the brunt of the selling. Once again, it's those small caps that everybody's fleeing because they're the riskiest of the stocks. And now the small caps are down about 6% in the last month, but it feels a lot worse. And the Russell 2000, the small cap index, has busted through its 200-day moving average. If you're into looking at those kind of technical indicators, you would know that that's not a good sign. It had bounced off of it once or twice, but now it's really broken through that 200-day moving average. So we could see further sell-off here. But you know what this means. Uh, you're wondering, and I'm wondering, are there any really good deals in the small caps now? And should we be looking at for opportunities. Of course we should. So I wanted to set up a screen to find out what are the small caps out there that um, are cheap and, you know, what, where can I be investing right now on the small cap side? Now I realize that it's hard right now to buy the small caps. You know, I, I like them. I'm with you on that. And it's hard. It takes a, a strong stomach, I like to say, to get into those small caps on these times when it's really volatile. Plus, the decline is continuing here, so it doesn't look like it's bottomed yet, and so that seems pretty scary. But I'm just going to give you five ideas today that you might want to keep an eye on that are small caps with growth for when you feel good enough to get back in or you feel like the, the small caps maybe have bottomed in this pool back here, and so you have some ideas ready. So... For the small caps, I wanted to run the screen and I put a few different uh, components into it this time. So I looked for companies under a billion market cap for this screen. And I have used 1.5 billion or some people even use 2 billion to screen for small caps. So it just depends on your definition. But I went for the slightly smaller small cap. The There's the no question that this is a small cap stock, small cap. So that's a billion and under. And I went with for my value metric, I decided to use the price to sales ratio, which if you remember means um, obviously the lower the better. And we look for a price to sales ratio under one. And that's what I screened for. And what that means is that as an investor, you're paying less than a dollar for every dollar's worth of sales. So I'm getting um, you know, a dollar's worth of sales for say 40 cents on that dollar. And that's a deal, that's like a bargain. So we're getting the sales at a discount and that's what I wanna do as a value investor. Then I decided to add some growth because why not? We always like to have growth here, right? If we're gonna get a cheap stock, we might as well get that rare combination of growth and value. So I screened for earnings growth of over 20%. I know, that's really aggressive, right? Why not just use 10%? Because I did want a narrower screen here and it's a hot economy. Why not go for the companies that are doing the best and really seeing that earnings growth? So um, it's gonna give us a lot fewer stocks, but I did think we'd get some and we did. So yeah, we're going for the 20% here. And then I added the Zach's rank of one or two, of course, you know I'm going to add the Zach's rank because I want to get those rising earnings estimates. So the one is the strong buys. That's our top rank. And the number twos are the buys, but those are strong as well. So we're getting the rising earning estimates in addition to the earnings growth. And then I also screened for stocks over $5. Now we've had some, some other screens in the past with stocks under $5. <laughs> so we've done that, but I did want over $5 because you get more investors in the stocks over $5. And that includes even the professional managers like mutual funds and whatnot. So a lot of them cannot buy if it's under five. So we went with over $5 here. And how many stocks did I get when I did this screen? So remember, it's small caps under a billion market cap, price to sales ratio under one to give me that value, growth, earnings growth over 20%, the, the Zach's rank of one or two. 
And then the stocks over $5, and I got 12 stocks. That's it, 12. But the list was really intriguing, and there were quite a few retailers on it. So I didn't pick all the retailers for our five stocks. I only did one. But um, thankfully, there were some other choices I could make outside of retail. But still, it's interesting that there's uh, several retailers within this that are cheap What with that earnings growth. So that's encouraging. So let's jump right in to see what these stocks are. Now, most of them you probably haven't really heard of before, um, maybe one or two of them if you're lucky, but that's the whole world of small cap stocks. Usually they're fairly unknown and that's why we like them. So the first stock is called Surgery Partners and the ticker there is SGRY. They have a market cap of 730 36 million. Uh, there's no dividend. I did check to see if any of these have dividends because occasionally you do find a small cap stock with a dividend. It's not as popular, but sometimes they do, but there's no dividend here. This one has no PE. So if we screened for PE, we would not have found it um, because it's not yet making any earnings. It doesn't have positive uh, earnings yet, but the price to sales is just point. Uh, Five basically um, with this one. So that's pretty cheap on the price to sales. Now their earnings expected to be up 76% this year and 202% for 2019. So they're expected to lose 20 cents in 2018, but make 21 cents in 2019. And what do they do? They are um, surgical services. They have 180 locations in 32 states. And what these are, are ambulatory surgical facilities, surgical hospitals, diagnostic labs, some urgent care. So this is a growing area. They're headquartered in Nashville, which is kind of the epicenter of this kind of company. A lot of healthcare companies headquartered there now. In the second quarter, their same facility revenue, and that's kind of like same store sales, but it's what that facility is doing year over year, was up, um, well, this was quarter over quarter, actually, up 3% quarter over quarter, which is what you want to see. And they reiterated their full year guidance in the second quarter, and that was in August. So Surgery Partners is is interesting because it's the small cap side. It's, it's cheap. The shares are down 3.2% in the last month with this pullback. They're trading around 15 but if you want to get in healthcare on the facility side, this might be one you want to you want to watch. So again, that's um, S G R Y is the ticker. Now I'm going to switch over to one of the retailers I did choose for the podcast today, and it's Tilly's, and that ticker is T L Y S. They have a market cap of 479 million, so pretty small still. They have. Um, stores and online sales. And what they are is a specialty retailer of, and this is what they said on their site, West Coast Inspired Apparel, Footwear and Accessories. So their motto is, if it's not here, it's not happening. So this is really trendy for young adults and teenagers, I would say, is their market. And um, so they got to stay up on the trends to stay hot, but they have a good number of physical stores. They have 226 stores across 31 states. So if you have a teenager or a young adult, they probably know of Tilly's and um, you may not, but it is very popular right now. Now these shares are down 16% over the last month. So we're starting to get a little more value here even on this market pullback. So the PE, this one does have a PE, it's 18.2. So that's not you know super cheap on the PE side, but price to sales is just 0.8. They are expected to see earnings growth for this fiscal year of 38% and then another 19% for next fiscal year. And this um, second quarter comps, that's the same store sale comps that you look at when you're looking at retailers. It was up 4.4%. Their physical stores were up 38 and e-commerce up 8.1. So starting to really see some good numbers on the e-commerce side. And that was their strongest same store sales comps since the third quarter of fiscal 2016. So a couple years ago um, was strong and now they're seeing that hotness once again. So this one um, trading around $16 or so now. And like I said, the shares are down 16% in the last month. 
month. So it looks like maybe a little bit more of an opportunity here in some of these hotter retailers. So that's Tilly's T-L-Y-S. And then we're going to switch back to the... Um, medical side again. So that's interesting that several of these companies are on the the healthcare medicine side. And this third company is called RADNET, and that's R-A-D and then capital N-E-T, one word, and the ticker is R-D-N-T. Now what they do is they provide outpatient diagnostic imaging services. So they have a network of 304 owned centers in core markets like California, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, and New York. And they've been uh, buying up smaller competitors in newer markets to increase their market share. So you'll see a lot of that with them. And that's where a lot of their growth is coming from. But they have a market cap of $760 million. They have a really high PE. It's 44 right now, but the price to sales is in our range. It's just 0.8. So um, they're also seeing, obviously, the double-digit earnings growth up 20.7% this year, supposed to be up another 71% next year. So analysts really bullish on 2019. We have two estimates on this company, and that's another reminder that with the small caps, you may have um, only one analyst But um, hopefully you get a couple with some of these. And this one has two. So I like seeing that. I'm looking back to see what the other two have. So Surgery Partners has four estimates. That's really good for a small cap. And Tilly's has three. So that's not so bad. But when you only have the one estimate, that means just the one analyst, then we're kind of beholden to whatever that one person (laughs) thinks. And they may or may not get it right, so to speak. So it's a little harder. That's what makes the small caps much more risky. Um, even with the rank. So, um, but this one has two. So I like that. And there's no dividend with this one either. But if you're looking for some of these interesting medical uh, companies that nobody's really talking about, this is one of them. Shares are actually up 11% in the last month. So it's a pretty hot one still, even with this market pullback. But that price to sales ratio is right where we want it to be. So I like that. So that's Radnet, R-D-N-T. And then we're going to switch over to, um, basically, this is a tech company, and it's one of those ones where you're never quite sure, like, what do they do? (laughs) Because I had to look around. I went to, like, the press release. I went to the website. I was trying to figure it out. It's called Unisys, U-N-I-S-Y-S. Ticker is U-I-S. They have a market cap of $988 million. So this is on the bigger side of the, the small caps we're covering today. This is one of the ones with just one analyst. But what they said they do is they're a global information tech company. They do security solutions, advanced data analytics, cloud, and infrastructure. They did grow the revenue in the second quarter by 2.1% and their services backlog this was big, was up 27% year over year to $4.6 billion. Also interesting, as of June 30th, they had cash on hand of $584 million, they said, just with a market cap of $988 million. So a lot of cash sitting there, but just the one analyst. So the estimates seem all over the place. In 2017, a year ago, they lost $1.28. They're supposed to make a uh, dollar ninety two here in twenty eighteen. That's a gain of two hundred and fifty percent. That seems a little crazy, but that's what the data is showing. Um, they have a PE of just ten. So on the PE level, they are really cheap, and price to sales is just point three five. No dividend yield with this one, but um, they got all that cash, so I'm not sure what they're doing with that. Month to date, the shares are down 4.7%, so pull back a little bit. They're trading around $19. So um, yeah, this one on the information tech side, might want to keep it on your list here. And the ticker there, again, is UIS. And then switching over to our fifth company, this is one I did not know as as well as some of these others I didn't wasn't familiar with. And this one is called KeyW. I'm assuming that's how they go by it. Um, it's ticker K-E-Y-W, but they, they spell it like K, capital K-E-Y with, in small letters and then a capital W. So it's kind of got the trendy name. Uh, this is a market cap of $456 million, so not too small, not 
too big on the small cap side, but they describe themselves as a pure play national security solutions provider. So this is on the services, I believe, kind of consulting for intelligence, cyber, and counterterrorism in the Washington, D.C. area, as you might guess. They have 2,000 employees, so a lot of them in this area. And this has always been a growing area um, of the for companies is to be these kind of consulting firms for the um, intelligence and military areas of our government. So total backlog as of June 30th was $1.1 billion, but that was the same as the prior quarter, so they hadn't added to the backlog, but it is pretty big backlog. They reiterated 218 or 2018's outlook in the last quarter, so they didn't raise it, but they didn't lower, so we got to like that. And this is another one with no PE, but they have a price to sales of 0.9, so I do like that on the cheapness side. They're expected to grow earnings by 37% this year and expected to grow by 114% in 2019. Revenues are expected to be up 14% this year, so I do like the revenue growth and then just 2% for next year. But that could be because um, analysts aren't quite sure what's going to be happening um, in 2019 yet. And so until they get further guidance on that, they're being a little more conservative there. But they are expected to see a loss of $0.28 cents this year. That's why there's no P.E., but they are expected to make four cents in 2019. So I do like that, that they're expected to actually have some earnings in 2019. There were four estimates for 2018, and we have here at SACS five estimates for 2019. So there's quite a few analysts covering this one. I'm kind of surprised I haven't heard of it before now with that many analysts on it, but I have not. But if you're looking for kind of a defense play without one of the defense manufacturers of making the defense uh, you know, equipment, the missiles and all of that, but you're looking for the other side of things on the intelligence side, then this is one that you might want to keep on your list. And as I said, this has been one of the stronger areas of the stock market here in 2018. So in the last month, these shares are down just 0.8%. So they haven't pulled back like a lot of the other small caps have. And that's a testament to what I just said, that this is one of the stronger areas of the stock market overall, even among the small caps in this pullback. But with that price to sales ratio of just 0.9, that's pretty cheap. So I like looking at that. Now, again, I'm going to reiterate, there's not as much information about these small caps out there. There's just not as many analysts covering them. Although some of these, as I said, have, have a good number. So that's good. But that means you're going to have to do more investigation. You definitely should be listening to the conference calls on these and whatever else you can find out there. Um, or if you're familiar with the industry already, you might already know of some of these companies. You're going to have to do your homework to find out what's going on, why the growth is so good and why it's still cheap. But there is something cool about finding these hidden small cap stocks. I love doing it, especially on the value side. And these are rare stocks this time with the value plus the earnings growth. And I like to find those as well because they, they that's not easy. As I said, there's only 12 in the screen and um, a lot of them are retail other than Tilly's. So yeah, this is still a good time to take a look at these small caps, even with this pullback, because they might get cheaper, as I said. So let's reiterate what, uh, let's recap what these stock tickers are again, so you can keep them on your list and watch some of these, especially if this downturn continues. So we had Surgery Partners, that's S-G-R-Y is the ticker. Then we had Tilly's, T-L-Y-S. We had RADNET, R-D-N-T, that was the Diagnostic Imaging Services. We had Unisys, which is the Tech Security Solutions, U-I-S. And then we had the defense side on this intelligence and counterterrorism uh, kind of consulting firm with K-E-Y-W is the ticker there. I guess I should say Security Solutions Provider is more how they describe themselves, but that's K-E-Y-W again for that one. I'm going to be keeping track of a lot of these, and I'm going to keep revisiting the small caps 
especially if they're taking the brunt of the selling. So be sure to tune in for the Value Investor Podcast in the coming weeks as we cover some of these value stocks. We're seeing value in a lot of places now, especially with the growth stocks getting sold off. Maybe some more of those growth stocks are going to come into our guidelines here for the value stocks, and then I'll be covering those. And that will be very exciting to get a to tap into some of those other bigger growth names. So be sure to subscribe on Spotify. We have a standalone show there on the Value Investor Podcast. We also are on Apple Podcasts with a standalone under the Value Investor. And you can find us on SoundCloud, as I always say, under Zach's Market Edge, where you get two for one, two two podcasts for the price of one over there. You'll get the Market Edge plus the Value Investor. But be sure to get us because value is picking up here and it's going to be interesting to head into the end of the year here and you don't want to miss a single episode so i'll see you again next week with some more value stacks